star attack method. Expert explains Russia's tactics used in attack on hospital in Ukraine. Sergei Zguretz, Ukrainian military expert, noted that during the Russian attack on July the 8th, there was a concentration of different types of missiles in one place at one time from different directions. He shared the information on Espresso TV. During the hostilities, the enemy modernized the KH-101 missile. It has been upgraded with improvements related to the accuracy of targeting. The missile is subsonic, and if there is a sufficient number of air defense systems, it can be effectively shot down, and even man-portable air defense systems can shoot down this missile, explained Zaburets. According to the military expert, during the Russian attack on July the 8th, there was a concentration of different types of missiles in one place at one time from different directions. It was a so-called Star Attack 2 tactic. Our air defense system was most likely overloaded. This resulted in a number of missiles slipping through to their targets. In particular, they hit Okmatdit, which was planned by the enemy as a strike that would have a resonant effect on our society. Indeed, it resonated with the international community, which influenced the decision of the NATO-US summit to allocate a certain number of Patriot missiles to the Ukrainian armed forces, Zuguretz said. The military expert also added that no Russian missile attack is complete without strikes on the airfield, in Starokostyantiniv or other airfields where Russia is trying to slow down the process of preparing the Ukrainian armed forces to receive F-16s. On July the 8th, the Russian army attacked Kiev with missiles. The attack resulted in numerous deaths. July the 9th was declared a day of mourning in the capital. Russia struck the Children's Hospital with a KH-101 strategic cruise missile. At the site of the tragedy, fragments of the rear body of the missile with a serial number, as well as part of its rudder, were found. As of July the 9th, emergency rescue operations on the territory of Okhmatdit in Kiev have been completed. As a result of the Russian attack, two people were killed and one was injured. Ukraine's Prime Minister Denis Shmihal said that UNICEF would provide financial assistance to the families affected by the attack on Okhmatdit. He also said that the government would fully rebuild the hospital. Подъехать вообще техники хреново. Это все, что осталось от самолета. Большой самолет, большой. Ну, суперджет, он среднего, среднего класса такой. Вот от Хаммерса привели. Поляну выкосила. Выжгла все полностью. Вот тут пацаны погибли. Наши. Смотри, вот кучность какая, смотри. Смотри, пам-пам-пам-пам-пам-пам-пам наложила. Вот два харма. Харма. Пролетела и глубина метра. Ты метра три, наверное, глубина, короче. Вот так не видно. Вот лазик, короче, который был. Вот осколки. 
Ну, честно.